cancer what's good welcome to epiphany tarot i am here to do your love reading for january 2023 i know it's been a minute what's good cancer what is going on with you baby okay please like share subscribe comment all that good shit if it resonates and cancer I am going to tap in with you, Cancer. And my bad, y'all. If y'all hear Onyx in the background making noise because she is up. Hold on. My bad, Cancer. I'm already dropping shit. Hold on. Cancer. Um, hold on, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Weird, okay? Because when I first started shuffling cards for your reading, I heard blocking. So, Cancer, I don't know if you're just like going on a blocking spree, blocking a bunch of people, or somebody's doing this to you, or somebody's getting ready to block you. Like cancer, I don't know what's going on here. Um, then your overall energy, we got sacrifice. Um, uh, and this is a woman inside of this armor. So you cancer females are definitely inside of your shell in the month of January. You're definitely in protective mode for some reason, and you have your sword out. So who are you protecting yourself from, Cancer? I also heard um, you're still in love with a karmic partner, Cancer. Uh, and if you're a Cancer man, I feel like Cancer men, I feel like you really got hurt by a female. So now you're just in protective mode, just like, just period. It's just like, even if you're a single Cancer man and you hear the ambulance, you hear the sirens again. Yeah, it's almost like a state of emergency, Cancer. Um, but like I was saying, if you're a cancer man, I feel like you got hurt really bad by a woman. And so cancer man, you're just walking around with your complete armor on just period. Like you have your shell on, it's no coming out of it. And that's not normal for you cancer. You know what I'm saying? You guys are supposed, supposed, supposed to be nurturing and loving and caring. Like that's just in your nature, cancer, like you're the mother of the Zodiac. That's what you do. You nurture people. You mother people. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you're like in this mode is like it's something going on, Cancer. Um, this card, uh, it says sacrifice, number seven. So, Cancer, this can also speak to you like self-sacrificing for some reason i feel like you really put your heart and you put yourself on the line for somebody and they basically backdoored you you know what i'm saying somebody betrayed you they gossiped about you they probably told your secrets or told your business or something like that and so now it's just like this is screaming like this armor she has on is giving me like nine of wands type of energy so cancer i feel like you're angry you know, I feel like you have an attitude towards someone. Um, the Nine of Wands energy, like I said, I don't have it out here, but this card is giving me like Nine of Wands vibes. So the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. That's somebody who has extreme trust issues. They're defensive. They have a wall up. They don't trust anybody. Nine of Wands can also be projection as well, Cancer. So I feel like you want to watch that in the month of January. It's just like whoever you're upset with or whoever you have this anger or this attitude towards, be mindful of projecting that off on other people because I feel like there's a potential to like rub people the wrong way with this energy cancer. And that's not that's not what you want to do, especially in other aspects of your life. Like 
if this energy has came from your love life, like whoever you that you're upset with or that you have this attitude with, if this came from a love relationship, you need to leave it in the love department. Do not let this energy rub off into your workplace or your career or with family or with friends because I feel like there's going to cause more trouble than you need it to cancer but i definitely feel like you're upset with somebody i definitely feel like you got your arm on you're protecting yourself you feel like you can't trust anyone especially when it comes to love because like i said you self-sacrifice you 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 sacrifice yourself in the name of love for somebody that you were dealing with and i think it kind of backfired cancer i don't think it turned out or panned out the way that you thought it would for some of you cancer because i'm channeling like cancer for some of you whoever this person was that you self-sacrifice for i feel like maybe that you thought that was the person that you were going to end up marrying but it didn't turn out that way others of you did end up marrying this person and now the relationship is not what you thought it was going to be uh i feel like for a lot of you cancer this person switched up on you or somebody feels like you did this to them Okay, because like I said, this sacrifice card, this speaks to anger. Somebody out here is mad, Cancer. So if it's not you, Cancer, it's the person that you were dealing with. And like I said, I feel like a lot of you Cancers too are upset because it's just like as dirty as this person did you, you still love this person. And I feel like that pisses you off. You know what I'm saying? Or this person feels like that towards you, Cancer. It's just like. This motherfucker was so wrong and so out of pocket. Why do I still feel like I'm in love with them though type shit? But I feel like this sacrifice is coming out. This sacrifice, like I feel like spirit is trying to, spirit wants you to let go of this person in this relationship. Like, and even if you're not with this person, you're already broken up with them cancer. I feel like spirit wants you to energetically cut ties with this person. And so, Cancer, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be patient with yourself. It really takes time to break an energetic cord, especially if you and that person were close, you and that person were engaging in a lot of sexual activity. Like sometimes an energetic cord, an emotional cord or tie that we have to someone that we're no longer with, you may not physically be in union with that person no more. So emotionally and energetically you're still tied to this person so for some of you cancers you may want to do like uh some cord cutting work on yourself um what else am i getting Yeah, cancer. It's it's just like I, I really feel like you're just like protecting yourself. It's like you got your shell on. It's like you're not being your loving, nurturing self. It's like cancer. You're trying to be hard or pretend to be hard or something. Because first card we got out is deception. So yes, cancer. Some of you cancers, your favorite color could be pink. But yeah, Cancer, I feel like it's deception. You feel like somebody did you wrong. They deceived you. I'm telling you, this is why you have your armor on. The person, the object of your affection, I feel like betrayed you or did something to you to where now. And it's like, you can be, this is like, this reading is like an overall reading. So this is not a personal reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is an overall reading. So this applies to anybody. You could be in a relationship. You could not be in a relationship. You could be divorced. You could be freshly single, whatever the fuck the case is. But I feel like for a lot of you, Cancer, you're either in a relationship where things have gone completely left and spirit is asking you to end this situation with the sacrifice card here. Or cancer, you already did, but you feel like it's not fair how you got treated in this situation. So now it's like you got your armor on. Like you could very much be single, but it's just like you're not vulnerable enough to meet somebody new because you, you're in protective mode. It's like cancer, how can you allow somebody to really get to know you? And this is more so for singles, but if you're a, uh, a if you're a single cancer 
and you're dating and you're trying to meet people and stuff. It's just like you have this armor on this like like you're in pure protective mode. How can somebody really get to know you and get a chance to feel you out if you're constantly like your trust issues is preventing you from meeting somebody new? And for some of you, you may not even be ready to date. If you are dating, you may not necessarily be ready because if you're walking around with this armor on, this is like somebody that has trust issues. But Cancer, you have to look a little deeper because the trust issues, they can be triggered by other people, yes. But at the same time, like your trust issues is a reflection of self also so it's almost like cancer okay you're you're protecting yourself you're feeling defensive you don't want to let your guard down and shit but at the same time is it is it that you don't want to let your guard down because you're afraid of other people hurting you or is it that you're afraid of letting your guard down and being vulnerable vulnerable because you feel you don't trust yourself enough to pick a good partner after this last situation so which one is it, Cancer? You're going to have to figure that out. Some of you are still with this karmic person. And I just feel like you're not happy in this situation, but you're still in it. Others of you, you're not with this person anymore, but you still feel a way about how this person treated you, what they did to you, and you just don't feel like it's fair. But like I said, this this sacrifice color i'm telling you this feels like the nine of wands which can also be projection and i really feel cancer like i don't know why they keep reiterating this but cancer you're gonna have to be mindful of your attitude don't take that energy out on people who had nothing to do with this situation okay but we got deception out here cancer a lot of you feel like somebody did you dirty they deceived you they did you wrong um, but Cancer, you still look good as fuck, though. That's for sure. Your hair is whipped, honey, okay? Your lipstick looks good. Like, you fine as fuck, Cancer, but I just feel like you're, like, upset. You're angry. Like, look at her face. And if you're a single Cancer, 12-12 on the timer, if you're a single Cancer, and this is, like, a relationship from your past that you're not emotionally over with, like, you're not over it emotionally is what I'm trying to say, People can sense that. People can pick up on this attitude that you're giving off. So that makes it seem like you're a little unapproachable. And I'm only saying that because if you're like a single cancer and you've been dating or looking for love and you haven't been finding any luck, it's probably because of this, like resting bitch face. Like this is how you look cancer when people trying to approach you. You don't look approachable. You don't look nice. Not like you don't look nice. You look good as fuck. But like your face, you don't look like you want to be bothered. You don't want nobody to say nothing to you and shit, Cancer. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a contradiction. If you want to date somebody, you want somebody to speak to you or, you know, flirt with you and shit. How you going? Why would somebody want to flirt with somebody that's looking like this? They already look like they mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, Cancer. And then we got karmic partner out here. So, yeah, a lot of you are still in love with this person. But see, this is a karmic relationship. This was somebody that you were with just to learn a lesson. Karmic partners are never meant to be long term. You know what I'm saying? Like karmic, karmic relationships are just to teach you something. And then once you learn the lesson, the relationship is over with. So this is this was something that wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to last for the long haul, truth be told. But a lot of you tried to make this last. A lot of you tried to turn this into a marriage and shit, but it was never meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Karmic partner, like this was a relationship filled with lessons. So for a lot of you cancers, you just still feel some type of way because this situation did not pan out how you thought it would. A lot of you probably planned a family, planned to get married to this person or you did and it just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of you, and then we have young at heart out here. That's what I'm saying. Like some of you are still... As much as you want to hate this person, young at heart, for some of you, you're still, your heart is soft on this person. It's just like, I feel like cancer, that's what makes you more mad than anything. Because it's like, after all you and this person been through, after everything that has transpired in this situation, it's like, you want to hate this person, 
but you can't. It's like your heart feels like this when you're with this person or young at heart. Like this is how this person made you feel. You and this person probably did a lot of childish things together. Um, this person made you feel like a kid again, made you feel free. You know, this, this person, this relationship made your inner child happy at one point. But Cancer, you can get that same feeling with ha without having to be with this person. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of you with this deception card and karmic partner, I definitely feel cheating here. So this person definitely could have cheated on you. Whether you're a male Cancer or a female Cancer, I definitely feel like whoever this karmic partner was to you. Because see, you can be this man or you could be the woman. But either way, this was a toxic relationship, okay? This was something that was low vibrational, something that didn't help you accomplish anything really. You know, it's kind of something that delayed you, something that made you stuck. But I and I feel like this person cheated on you. They really did something that left a bad taste in your mouth, Cancer. Or I'm picking up on this scenario as well. So for some of you, Cancer, you broke up with somebody or you divorced or separated from somebody. And maybe this person didn't cheat on you. But now that you and this person is no longer together, I feel like for some of you, this person could have hopped into another relationship. And that made you feel some type of way too. So for some of you, this person did cheat. And that's what has you feeling like this. And then others of you, this person didn't cheat, but you broke up and they instantly moved on to a new relationship. And I feel like if this person did move on to another relationship, I mean, it's karmic. You know, it's like this person, whoever this person was that you broke up with and they moved on to somebody else seemed like really quickly. I mean, they're learning lessons too um cancer so make no mistake this person may be trying to look happy with whatever this new person is that they're dating but it says young at heart somebody out here is too immature for what it is that you were really wanting cancer for some of you you were looking for longevity that long-term commitment that family life with the kids and the house and the the financial security which breaking generational curses and shit a lot of you desired that but you pick the wrong partner. Well, I gonna say you pick the wrong partner because you pick partners for a reason. But I feel like you had lessons to learn, Cancer, just like we all do. So this person that you were in this relationship with, it was only designed for you to learn, for you to grow. And now that the situation is over with, it's time to move on, move on to bigger and better. But I feel like a lot of you are struggling with it because now you're in protective mode. It's like I feel like you got a lot of healing to do, Cancer. So let's see. Yeah, um, Cancer, I'm hearing fish out of water. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing fish out of water. So, Cancer, I feel like. Like, Cancer, for some of you, you've been in this karmic partnership for a long time. Some of you are still in it, but you're getting the signs that it's time to let this shit go because you're in a relationship and you have your armor on. So you're with somebody that you feel like you cannot trust. That's if you're in a relationship. Others of you already broke up with this person and now you're single and you have all these trust issues and shit. But it's like... I feel like you're like a fish out of water. For some of you, Cancer, you've been in a relationship for so long. Now that you're having to be single again, it feels awkward. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not really sure like what to do or how to go about it. It's like you have to get reacclimated or get comfortable with being single again. Um, so, yeah, we got... Um, Deception with the poverty card. So for some of you, Cancer, I don't know if you're struggling financially or the person that you broke up with is struggling financially. Uh, poverty card speaks to a poverty mindset. I feel like, Cancer, a lot of you are looking at the glass half empty instead of the glass half full. Just because this relationship is over does not mean your life is over, Cancer. Like, you have to change your perspective, Cancer. You're just getting started that relationship that ended or the relationship that is ending is only it only happened for your soul's growth it's like you really have to pay attention to what you learned and take that information 
so you can move forward. And like I said, be patient with yourself. It's going to take some time, Cancer. You can't expect to come out of a situation like this and then be just be recovered and healed overnight and wake up and move on with your life. Like, no, it really takes time, Cancer. Um, but like I said, a poverty card out here, somebody could be struggling financially. I don't know if it's you, Cancer, or I don't know if it's this person that, you know, you broke up with or separated from, or this could be a fear, Cancer. Like, if you're still with this person, it could be a fear that if you break up with this person, like, you're going to be struggling financially. Because some of you probably, you can have a kid with this person or children with this person. Why is the karmic partner here? And like I said, self-sacrificing. For some of you, Cancer, you got involved with somebody who wasn't on your level. This is why this was a karmic relationship. For some of you, this person was in poverty when you met them. So, Cancer, you really... I don't know if people were warning you about this person, Cancer, and you didn't take heed. I don't know if you met this person. It doesn't matter how long ago, but people were like, Cancer, I don't know. I don't think you should. Da, da, da. And Cancer, like I said, is self-sacrificing. In the name of love, you still chose to be with this person, deal with this person, marry this person because it was just like, even though this person is struggling, I can help them. You know what I'm saying? And then we could be, you know, whatever the fuck, or we could grow together, da 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 da. But really, you, I, so for a lot of you, Cancer, this is a situation that didn't start off equally yoked to begin with. Either you had more than this person when y'all first got together, or they had more than you when y'all first got together. And someone lifted someone up. Some, someone helped somebody out of this poverty situation. They gave them a place to stay. They cooked for them. They fed them. They clothed them and shit. And, and basically, this person, you got into a relationship with this person. All this time passed. And then this person did you dirty is really how I kind of see it. It's like this person used you. Or someone feels like that about you, Cancer. But yeah, let's see. It's very toxic relationship, very tumultuous. Yeah, I can hear a lot of arguments. I hear a lot of pettiness. Going, I can hear it. Like, I can hear the argument. Yeah, we got high honor out here. I don't know. What is that high honor about? Yeah, somebody's ancestors is not playing with somebody out here either. With the high honor card, this is always somebody that's, like, highly protected. These are their ancestors ready to fire off or fire more rounds at somebody if they keep it up. Because look at the smoke. It's like somebody wants the smoke. What is this, Cancer? Why is high honor here? Yeah. This is imprisonment, like the Eight of Swords. I'm hearing, I, I'm hearing dry snitching, dry snitching, dry snitching, and pillow talking. Yeah, dry snitching and pillow talking. So for some of you cancers, I feel like I feel like in regards to this situation, because a lot of you cancer, like I said, cancer, for some of you, you're still with this person. And cancer, I feel like if this if you're not with this person, I feel like this is a recent or a fresh breakup or situation shit. For some of you, this could be somebody that you were unofficial with. You know what I'm saying? Like this could be, yeah, because I'm there's they start as soon as I said that they start playing um Cassie um featuring Lil Wayne unofficial girl. So some of you cancers, this is somebody that you didn't necessarily have a title with. This is like an entanglement or a situation shit for some of you. And I feel like this person played you. I feel like you helped this person in their time of need or you helped this person in a situation when, when they really needed you. And then when this person got back on their feet, they tried to play you like you weren't shit cancer. For some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody that was locked up 
and like you gave you gave them bail money or you got them out of jail or they even if this wasn't literal jail this is like the eight of swords they were just in like a stuck place in their life and you helped them but i feel like once you help this person it's like this person tried to act like they didn't know you or they try to act like they didn't know who you are. They forgot everything that you did for them. It's just like this person didn't want to give you credit. You know what I'm saying? And then with that little rat, that little mouse right there, I'm telling you, somebody was pillow talking. Somebody was telling your business cancer or this was you. Like this was like an unofficial like situationship or entanglement where somebody thought that they were going to be chosen. Somebody thought that they were going to get picked by this karmic person, male or female. And then found out that they were messing with somebody else and also that the person that they were messing with, they were also telling their business to. So, like, this is like an entanglement or a situation cancer that you were involved in. For some of you, it was a relationship. You did have the title. But I feel like this person was still acting single. Like, if you would meet this person, like, this is not somebody that you would, like, fit, like, the way that this person acts cancer when you're not around, this is not somebody that you would think is in a relationship. I don't know, Cancer, you just look at somebody as just like, they're just broke, they're just a bum, they're just disgusting, they're just, you know, like, you just feel like this person ain't shit with this poverty card. You feel like this person is a loser. Give me a card for this young at heart. You feel like somebody is just a fucking, like, they're just so immature. And for a lot of you, Cancer, like, I'm not going to lie, Cancer. This honestly feels like you were waiting for somebody to get their shit together. Or somebody's waiting for you to get your shit together. And they never did. And now somebody is out here is pissed. It's like they waited for somebody or they wasted a lot of time with somebody. Um waiting on them to mature so they can have this real fantasy life like they thought they were going to have and now that they didn't pan out or they didn't turn out like somebody thought it would it's like now this person is just like pissed you know what i'm saying it's just like Oh, yeah, thief card came out. For a lot of you, this person was real toxic. I'm sorry, about this was a real toxic relationship to the point where you guys could have been. It's like shots fired. I feel like you and this person was throwing shots at each other type shit. Um, and for some of you, it could have even got to the point where like somebody was calling the police on somebody trying to get somebody locked up. Eight of wands. I mean, eight of swords imprisonment. And then I also feel like cancer for some of you, like when you were involved, because it feels like competition -y here. This feels like a karmic partnership where cancer, you may have been like wanting that title. You wanted this karmic person to choose you, to pick you. For some, some of you, this person did choose you. They did marry you. They were with you. But this person was still doing snake ass shit behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Like they were still cheating. They were still lying. Even though to the public, this person was trying to act like they were with you. When this person was by themselves, they were single. Or like I said, even if this was like an entanglement where you, you and this person didn't officially have the title, people n knew you and this person to be together. But I still feel like this person, when you were not around cancer, they tried to act like they didn't have any ties to you type shit. It's like some real fake shit. And then for some of you where this person was cheating and messing around with other people behind your back, I feel like the person that they were messing with, you know that person to some extent. I don't know how you know that person, um, but I feel like you do. I don't know if you know them personally or not, but I feel like you know this person's name or you know their social media or something like that. 
Then we have the thief card out here with young at heart. It's just like, yeah, I feel like you feel like somebody stole something from you. All right, for some of you, this person literally could have stole something from you because it's somebody out here that's in a poverty card. So for some of you, this person did steal something from you. They took like money or something like that. Um, others of you, you just feel like this person stole a lot of your time. I feel like this person really made you believe that they were going to be with you. You are you were going to be living this happy life. You were going to have this happy marriage. And it's like when you went official with this person, they just switched up. Like real shit. Yeah, I feel like this person wanted to be somewhere else and with somebody else, Cancer. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I feel like this person did. Whoever this person that you were involved with, I feel like that person really, like, they were physically with you, Cancer, but this person's heart was with someone else. And I don't know if you picked up on that or not, Cancer. Um... I don't know if you picked up on that or not. Or like I said, this could be vice versa. Like this could have been the person that you were dealing with. But they were in love with you. But I don't know. Something here just did not work out. It's like somebody tried to use something. Like somebody out here was in like a bad space in their life with this poverty card. And then either you came along, Cancer, or this person came along to help you or help get somebody on their feet, which they did. And then once this person got on their feet, I just feel like they completely switched up. It's just like they act like they didn't know you, like you didn't help them, like y'all weren't in a relationship. It's just like they really tried to play you, Cancer. Or you did this to somebody real shit. But still, I feel like for a lot of you, even if you're already broken up or this situation or entanglement has ended and you're no longer with this person, I still feel like emotionally and energetically you're still stuck on this situation, Cancer, because it's just like you're in protective mode. You got your guard up. You don't trust anyone. Uh, it's just like somebody really tried to do you dirty, but it's just like whose fault was it, though, Cancer, really? Like, yeah, it was this person's fault to a certain degree, but you also have to take accountability. Who allowed this person to do any of this shit? It was you, Cancer. Like, Cancer, you could have said no. You could have left this person alone at any point. You could have called it quits and been like, you know what? I don't want shit to do with this shit no more. Like, you're not treating me right. Like, it's like a lack of boundaries here. Like, Cancer, you, it's nothing wrong with being loving and it's nothing wrong with being nurturing. It's nothing wrong with having a big heart and being vulnerable. But you have to know when, when and how to protect it. You have to know when to put your guard up and then when to let it down. You have to be, you have to know how to create boundaries. Everybody isn't worthy of that nurturing, loving essence that you have, Cancer. Because if you give it to the wrong person, that's how you end up in situations like this. Because I feel like somebody out here got involved with somebody who pretended like they cared and they absolutely gave zero fucks about you to the point where this person was dry snitching. I'm telling you, they were like messing around on you and then telling these telling your business to these people that they were messing with. It's like how messy do you have to be? You know what I'm saying? I'm like it's a real low vibe. Give me three cards for cancer. And I think she went and laid down somewhere. Or I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I hear chewing. She's eating. Huh. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles reversed. So, yes, 
Cancer, some of you are struggling financially. The two of pentacles reverse can speak to like debt. Um, this could be like um trying to rob Peter to pay Paul, but you know what I'm saying? It's like you're trying to get your money up, Cancer, because the two of pentacles reverse can indicate debt. You know, the two of pentacles upright talks about juggling, talks about balancing your money, it could talk about moving money to different accounts and shit like that. But um, just trying to stay afloat, trying to stay balanced with your finances. And when it's in the reverse, I feel like the balance is off now. Like you weren't able to maintain this balance for some some reason. So with the two of pentacles reverse, I mean, that could also be like credit card debt as well, too. So for some of you cancers, maybe you, you know, weren't able to pay your credit card bill or something like that. But with the two of pentacles reverse, it talks about... um. Somebody was basically juggling you, Cancer. And like I said, for a lot of you, Cancer, I feel like you knew it, though. Like, Cancer, it's like you wanted to be with this karmic partner really bad. But I feel like you knew about the other person that they were dealing with. Or they knew about the other person that you were dealing with. And, and like, somebody here wanted to get chosen. They wanted that top spot. So they were willing to compete. And that's what you don't do. That's most definitely, like... A, a a true empress knows her worth. She will never compete with anyone or anybody ever. You know what I'm saying? But I that's the vibe that I'm getting here. Cancer, like somebody out here wanted to be with this low vibrational, toxic, karmic partner. And they knew that this person was juggling them with someone else. And... They, instead of just being like, you know what, I'm going to leave this person the fuck alone because they're trying to like put me in a third party situation and I just don't want shit to do with it. Instead of doing that, somebody here was like, okay, well, I'm going to compete. I'm going to compete with the other woman. I'm going to compete with the other man because I want that spot type shit. Two of pentacles reverse. I mean... I don't feel like the person is juggling anymore, but when you were with them, this two of pentacles was upright. Or when you were dealing with them, this two of pentacles was upright. And for some of you, the person that they were like juggling you with, like some of you could have kind of been similar. I feel like maybe this person has a type or they like to go after like similar type of females or something or males. So that's kind of creepy. I feel like I don't know. This person either, like, you broke up with this person and they instantly got into a new relationship with somebody who was very similar to you, Cancer, or you did that. Um, Yeah, three of pentacles reversed, though. Some of you, Cancer, you could be struggling at your job. Or for some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, but somebody out here is struggling with their job. For, some, for, for somebody here, they could have, there could... Ooh, it's Mercury retrograde and it's messing up my fucking words. But anyway, um, poverty with the three of pentacles reversed. Somebody out here could be unemployed or they're working at a job that they're struggling at. The three of pentacles reversed talks about uh, somebody who doesn't work well with others. They don't know how to collaborate fairly because they always want to be in charge type shit. They always want to run the shit. You know what I'm saying? So three of pentacles reversed could be somebody that's hard to work with. Um, it also could be like an employee that doesn't really grasp, like they don't know how to do the job really well. Three of Pentacles reverse. It's like they don't understand how to really do the job or do the position at work. Three of Pentacles reverse. So somebody out here could be getting fired or could be getting laid off or maybe they did with the Three of Pentacles reverse. Um, but the Three of Pentacles reverse can speak to unemployment. So... Either this is you or this is the person that you're dealing with. Or like I said, for some of you, um, Cancer, this person, because this is showing up in the past position. So for some of you, Cancer, this person couldn't keep a job. It's the three of Pentacles reverse. It's like they'll get a job and then they may keep it for three weeks and then they quit it type shit. Um, then we got the Five of Swords reverse um, coming out. So something here, some mind games or something that somebody was trying to play backfired on them, Cancer. Um, could be a, a air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The five of swords is in reverse. Somebody out here is feeling defeated. They lost. Because I told you somebody out here knew that their partner was juggling or knew that there was another option besides them. 
You know what I'm saying? And they were willing to compete for this spot, but I feel like it backfired. Like somebody here was trying to play dirty. And it didn't work in their favor with the Five of Swords reversed. So now somebody's feeling defeated. Five of Swords of Right talks about trying to win at all costs. You know, trying to step on other people's toes just to get to the top. And that backfired on somebody. Five of Swords reversed. Because like I said, I feel like for some of you, Cancer, this karmic person that you were dealing with, this was their tactic. So if this person was, I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was an opportunist. So it's just like... Ooh, you hear the sirens but yeah for some of you cancers you were dealing with somebody that was an opportunist so it's like cancer they got with you because it was a good opportunity at the time you know what i'm saying cancer maybe you didn't have much but you had more than this person and you were willing to help them you did that and then that person wanted more they started looking at other people who had more than what you had cancer and so they start cheating they start trying to like you know like find somebody else who was doing more or doing better than you and shit and try to step on your toes maybe they did find somebody who was in a better space financially but then it's just like that shit backfired on them i feel like this person went to the extreme to the point where they would even pillow talk about your business just to try to win over the next motherfucker you know what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody like, say we in a relationship, okay, right? But I'm the one with the stable job. The other person doesn't have a stable job, right? And so I help this person. I let them live in my house. You know, I do all this stuff. I buy them some shit. And I'm thinking we working as a team and shit. Next thing you know, you find out that this person is like messing around, cheating around with somebody and shit. Maybe you find text messages or you go through this person's phone and shit. And you see what this person is saying. And they're telling other people or the people that they're messing around on you with they're telling this person oh yeah cancer they ain't about shit you know she don't da 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 or they doing this or they doing it it's like this is, whoever this was was like pillow talking they were telling your business whoever this was cancer they literally really did not care or this was your ass But like I said for you this you and this person it's just hard to work with this person with the three of pentacles inverted it's like this person was just really difficult. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles out here. So for some of you, Cancer, you could have been struggling financially in the past when you were dealing with this person. I feel like for some of you, Cancers, you recovered from that. You went from the Three of Pentacles reverse to the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could have got a promotion at your job or you could have got a new job that pays you way more money than the job that you had when you were literally dealing with this person. And so for some of you, this current partner from the past is going to see this come up that you have going on with the Thief card. And they're going to be trying to, because the Thief card, this is like a Seven of Swords. So for some of you, this person is going to see how you recover with the Ten of Pentacles and they're going to try to sneak back in or come back in and shit. Or like I said, this could be somebody else. The person, the person who tried to get, the person who got played in this situation, because this is strongly feeling like a third party, like real shit. But whoever the person is that got played, I feel like they're sitting in a ten of pentacles now. And like whoever this karmic partner is that was going back and forth between you, Cancer, and this other person, it's like now they want to go back towards the person who's sitting in this ten of pentacles. So let's see, watch the three of pentacles reverse. Yeah, the horror font. Yeah, you were just, or some of you definitely dealing with a Taurus. Or if it wasn't a Taurus, like I said, some of you are married, but this is like. This is like a fake ass marriage, not a fake ass marriage, but this is somebody who tried to act like they were committal and this person is really non-committal. Like this person is not holding up their end of the marriage. They're not honoring their vows. Like this person is just, yeah, they're married to you, but this person kind of does what the fuck they want to do with the Hierophant reverse. you be dealing with somebody because you be dealing with somebody who is very hard headed, very stubborn, um, but with the Hierophant reverse, this is somebody who can be a tyrant. They don't like to follow the rules. It's like they they like to do what the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Even at the detriment. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is the type of person. It's like 
they can have a good job, but it's just like they don't like to follow the rules. It's like this person wants to do what they want to do. And I feel like it fucks them up. You know what I'm saying, Cancer? It's just like this could be somebody who has the opportunity to be like a CEO or something. But because they don't want to follow the rules of the company and shit, it's just like they just end up getting fired and miss the whole opportunity. All because they want to act out or they want to be a tyrant. They want to go against the grain and shit. It's just like, and somebody is definitely doing this at work. This could have been a reason somebody got fired with the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Hierophant reverse. The Hierophant speaks to um, higher institutions and shit. But being that it's in a reverse, like this could be a corrupt institution that you work for where you just don't get along with the employees and shit. Like, I don't know. It's just like something out here about someone's job. Um, cancer. But yeah, you could have been dealing with somebody who's extremely narcissistic, somebody who's non committal. They just do what the fuck they want to do, they don't honor their vows. Um, this person definitely could be cheating um, with the Hierophant reverse. It's just like this person. Ooh. Why is the horror font reverse? This person is just difficult. They're hard to deal with, Cancer. Yeah, it's somebody who doesn't want to change their ways. Page of Pentacles. Um, some of you have a child with this person. But with the Page of Pentacles reverse, I'm telling you, there's somebody who is like, they're very immature with the page of pentacles reverse it's just like this person just it's like they don't want to grow up basically with the page of pentacles reverse this is like refusing to learn refusing to grow this is somebody who thinks they know everything already you can't tell this person shit some of you definitely could be an earth sign heavy on the tourist energy here lots of five of swords reverse Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? Page of Swords. Yeah, some somebody's definitely spying and lurking. Um, Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. It's like whoever the person is who tried to play, like whoever the person is that's feeling defeated in this third party situation, they're spying. They're they're low. Key. I'm telling you, somebody out here, whoever the culprit is, it's like they tried to play everybody, and now they're trying to sneak their way back to the person that they played you know what i'm saying cancer like so cancer it could have been you it could have been another person and then it could have been a person in the middle that you both were dating and it's like cancer they tried to play you or they fucked up with you so bad to, to to the point where they know they can't come back towards you and now they're lurking and spying on the other person that was a part of this third party and think they're gonna sneak their way back in with that person because I feel like somebody out here is doing well with the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody out here did say no to this third party like Cancer. I don't know which party you're I don't know which party you're in. Not which party you're in, but I don't know which of these parties you were in this third party situation. I don't know if you're the person that decided to leave because you ain't want to be a part of this shit. I don't know if you were the person that was trying to compete because you wanted this person. Or I don't know if you were the person that was trying to juggle the both of these people. Like, you know where you fit in in this shit. But it's just like the person who tried to play everybody. It's like now they're trying to sneak back towards the party who's now sitting in the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever is in this Ten of Pentacles is the person that decided to walk away. They're like, I don't want shit to do with this person. I don't want shit to do with this. If you're going to try to juggle me, you got me fucked up. I'm out. I feel like that person is now in the Ten of Pentacles energy. And now somebody's trying to sneak back Ace of Pentacles with the the Page of Swords. Somebody wants, they're feeling defeated, but they want to go towards this person and try to offer them the Ace of Pentacles. 
It's like they were trying to give somebody the same offer that they gave the other person when it didn't work out. Oh, it's a page of swords here. Yeah. Yeah, judgment. Yeah, King of Cups. So this person that you were dealing with, Cancer, they knew that they were in love with somebody else the whole time. Well, I don't. I mean, I I don't know why this person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why you would sit up and waste somebody's time like this if you knew you were in love with somebody else. I don't know why. Like I said, for some of you, this person is a narcissist. They have issues with control. This person wants to be in control of everyone and everything. So for some of you, maybe this person does believe in like polygamy or something like that. And at one point, maybe this person tried to turn this third party into like a polygamy type of shit. But that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? That shit backfired on them. So if you were married to somebody, Cancer, and then they tried to invite somebody else into you guys' relationship and play it like a poly shit, that shit backfired on their ass. But one of these people they were truly in love with. But I feel like the person that they were really in love with was they're not with this type of shit. So they left. They were like, absolutely the fuck not. You, you got me fucked up. And so the person that they were left with, shit didn't pan out. And now that this whole third party situation is over, the person that got defeated for trying to turn this relationship into a poly shit, the person that got defeated is now trying to go back and offer the Ace of Pentacles to the person that they were in love with from the very beginning. Page of Swords, King of Cups, Judgment. They want a second chance with the person that they were in love with after trying to turn a, a long-term relationship or a marriage into like a poly situation and it backfired. King of Cups, Cancer. That's you, Cancer Men. So Cancer Men, you could be trying to get a second chance with someone from your past with the judgment card out here. I'm the judgment with the King of Cups. It's like somebody's trying to get back with somebody after they did some fucked up shit. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups. So it's a couple out here. King to the Queen of Cups. So yeah, like you are a match with someone, Cancer. Or someone is a match with somebody else. Like two people are really, this was a true love relationship here. It's like two people are still in love with each other. Or cancer, this could be you with the Ace of Pentacles. You're getting a new opportunity when it comes to loves and relate love and relationships and shit. A solid offer after going through some bullshit with somebody. That's the king to the queen of cups. Yeah, you're getting the judgment. You're getting a second chance at a real relationship. Yeah, king of pentacles reversed. But here comes this person from the past. This opportunist. This money hungry person who's jealous because you're moving on to a new relationship. Or cancer, this person that tried to play you. They were with you knowing that they were in love with somebody else the whole time. That person that they were in love with has moved on. And now this person is jealous. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, cancer. You're dealing with somebody who's like obsessed with someone from their past. That was a, I just burped too. It was confirmation. <laughs> It's like they're obsessed with somebody's life that they're no longer with. Lots of ten of pentacles out here. Yeah, knight of swords. Lots of knight of swords, yeah. Yeah, for some of you cancer with this knight of swords, this person ghosted you. 
or they used to ghost you a lot, especially if it was an air sign, Gemini, I think you were Aquarius. Yeah, the lover's card. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was a choice out here. That's why I said it was a third party. Look, two women and a man. This was a third party situation. Somebody out here was in love with two people, but I feel like they was in love with one more than the other. And they didn't want to give either of you up. So their solution to that was like to try to have the both of you. To try to like create some type of weird poly relationship. And that shit backfired because this person was playing dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't get... You can't get, you can't trick two people into a poly relationship. That's what this person tried to do. They tried to trick two people into a poly relationship because they couldn't make their mind up about who they wanted to be with. And this shit backfired on this person. So not only do they not have you cancer or you don't want to be with this person anymore, that other person has moved on with their life and doesn't want their ass either. So now this person is just ass the fuck out. Real shit. Even though... They want to choose you, Cancer, or they want to choose that other person that moved on. Lover's card. They want to choose the person that they were actually in love with. It's like this person is finally like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I am in love with this person. That's who I want to be with. That's who I want the Ten of Pentacles with. I got to at least try to go back and get this person so I can get the Ten of Pentacles. So we can be the king to the queen of cups together. But I feel like it's going to be a third party out here. Like, Cancer, if you moved on to somebody else, a king of cups, this person from the past, this king of pentacles reverse that tried to put you in a competitive situation, it's like they're coming back now. Because when they dished you, when they, when they ditched you, when they ghosted you, when they left you high and dry, you moved on to real love. And this person is still stuck in the same position that they were in. Now they want you all of a sudden because they see somebody else wanting you. This person is a loser. Like, real shit. And for some of you, this hasn't happened. But maybe it, it could possibly happen. Especially if you're married. In the... uh In 2023. Why is the lower seat? It's like this person was treating you like shit cancer. Until they realized that somebody else started loving you and valuing you. And now here this person comes trying to like... I don't know. They're trying... They're going to try to sabotage your love connection. Yeah, four cups. You're not interested. It's like you want to come back to me now after you chose the karmic situation over me and it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? First, you tried to put me in a third party situation. Cancer, you said no to that. And then here I am moving on with my life. I got the Ten of Pentacles. I got a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend now. A long term relationship that's better than probably any relationship you ever been in and now here this person comes trying to rush back in with the knight of swords acting like all of a sudden they been choose you or they chose you and shit four cups you're like absolutely not i'm not interested bitch get a life it's like somebody's little game here is played the fuck out why is the four four cups here Yeah, the emperor. I'm trying to find the emperor. So you can dealing with the Aries. Yeah, now this person wants to come back in. Like they, they're ready to be your man. Like they're ready to plant seeds. Like they're really re ready to build and invest in you and shit. And maybe they are. I feel like this person, they learned a really harsh lesson, lesson from how they tried to play you. And this person is coming back in. They want to be your emperor now. With the seven of pentacles. But for a lot of you, it's too late. You're not interested anymore, four cups. Yeah, death card reverse. This person has not changed, bro. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. This person has not changed at all. They're just stuck on you because they tried to play you like you weren't shit. And you came up. Or somebody did. And now they want to try to go back towards that person. No, this shit don't work. That's the page of pentacles reverse. Yeah. Some of you were dealing with Capricorn with the devil reverse. I'm telling you, somebody out here is obsessed by cancer. Either this is you or this is someone else. 
you are involved with somebody that's completely obsessed with somebody else to the point where you can't even be with this person no more because this obsession has taken the fuck over. It's like this person tried to like did not deny it. They tried to suppress it when they were with you. Cancer tried to act like they weren't obsessed with this third party. And they were and they are. You know what I'm saying? To the point where this person is so obsessed with this other person. To the point where their life is, they're losing shit in their life. Or shit is just like going haywire in their life. Because they're spending all their energy focused on this person. But it's just like they try to play this person. Which is why that person doesn't want anything to do with them now. And it's just like they can't stand that shit. Because how are far reverse for some of you, this person is very narcissistic. They like to be in control. And the fact that they can't control that person emotionally or energetically no more just drives this person fucking nuts, bro. So it's like they're obsessed. Living their life. They're the king of pentacles reverse. They're broke. Their shit is just falling apart. Going through the wayside. Like... And they don't care. You know what I'm saying? They're only obsessed with this other person. Why is the two of pentacles reverse? Yeah, here go that nine of wands. I told you. I'm telling you. Cancer. Two of pentacles reverse. Somebody tried to juggle you and the shit didn't work. Nine of wands. Now somebody is pissed. Instead of walking away from a karmic party that was trying to juggle them, somebody chose to stay and compete for a position with this karmic person and it backfired. Nine of wands. Now somebody's mad. Now they got an attitude. Now they got trust issues. Now they guard up. You know, somebody's just irritated and tired and annoyed. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, five of pentacles. I'm telling you, it, it, it backfired. It's like somebody did all of that, put up with all this shit from this person, dealt with all of their bullshit just to five of pentacles still be rejected in the end. It was a complete fucking waste of time. And I definitely feel like somebody took an ill financially fucking with this karmic person. Yeah, a fool card. A lot of you are single. Somebody freed themselves from this shit. Yeah, nine of swords. And they know they fucked up. It's like somebody knows that they don't have anyone now. Five of pentacles. They're assed out. Five of Pentacles with the Fool and the Nine of Swords. The person that they were in love with and they were trying to play games with because maybe they weren't ready for a real commitment. You know what I'm saying? But instead of just being upfront about that, they tried to keep the person that they really wanted and then keep somebody else until they were ready to commit. It shit don't work like that. Now everybody's gone. They're assed out. Nobody wants shit to do with this person. Nine of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. Now somebody's. Oh my God. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Somebody out here is in denial as well. Somebody's mental health is suffering behind this shit. Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse, and the Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody out here, their mental health is not good behind this shit. It's like somebody out here doesn't want to believe that they lost. Like, somebody out here doesn't want to believe that they're on the losing end of this situation, like, because of how hard they tried to compete. Somebody out here was going above and beyond for this karmic partner and still did not get chosen. They did not get picked. Like, they did not end up being a wife. They did not end up being the one that this karmic person is in love with. That person actually moved the fuck on and they're with somebody else. And now... This karmic masculine and then the other woman that they were dealing with or had involved in this shit or just not doing well. Yeah, King of Swords reverse. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I'm telling you, this this person from the past, this karmic partner that tried to juggle you with somebody else, they are like a con artist with the nine of pentacles reverse. They're a user, an opportunist. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And somebody out here is a feminine energy who's upset because she got involved too deep with this person and got played. 
her life is fucked up from fuck, fucking with this uh, karmic masculine energy who tried to convince her that he was going to pick her. He was going to build a life for her. They were going to be happily ever after. Could have even had a kid with this person only to play them. This person is like walking around cold, detached, acting like they don't fucking know you and shit, cancer. They're acting like they don't know you or this kid. Like somebody is really sick out here. Like you're dealing with a really sick individual, like, or you were. And it's just like somebody out here is in so much regret that they wasted an ounce of their time with somebody like this. Came to the Queen of Swords reverse. It's like, Cancer, you and this person are not even on speaking terms. Real shit. It's like, you and this person is not even on speaking terms. Like, real shit. I don't know, Cancer. Anyway, this has been your reading, Cancer. I hope that it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, Cancer. And I will holla at y'all later. Peace.